Alright, hello everybody, it is I, Granarai. Here we are back with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal with our Gen 2 type challenge of Flying Type. Uh, we are about to go into Bugsy's Gem, or not Bugsy's, Morty's Gem. Uh, let's maybe try with Scyther here. So the big issue is, is uh, so we can't use Yanma in here. Yanma has no moves that are good against ghost types. Scyther has one that it can use against ghost types. So assuming we can get it powered up, we should be able to knock through these. And we keep hitting as well. So we should be strong enough now to take him out with a single Fury Cutter. Which Scyther does. Okay. Really, it's going to be Butterfree and Gyarados. Speaking of which, I'm going to swap up Gyarados next. We're going to surf this Haunter. And then we will Dragon Rage it. And then we'll take on this next Haunter, still with Gyarados. Goodness, we're going to have like no Surfs left. But we're going to go heal before we face Morty anyways. Alright, Butterfree next. Butterfree can now not escape. Excellent. We heal up. We're gonna let Scyther start out. Hopefully get one Pokemon down. Now Jasmine's gonna be tough. Jasmine's gonna be our, our hard gem leader to get past. Alright, we're gonna start Fury Cuttering this Ghastly. It's gonna help us out by cursing itself, so we should only need two more. Maybe three. As long as we don't get paralyzed by that leg. Alright, so that did it. That did it. Excellent. Haunter's coming out next. We'll swap to Gyarados. Good damage. Takes itself out with the curse. Alright, we're gonna swap the Butterfree for Gengar. We're gonna try to put it to sleep, just like it's gonna try to put us to sleep. Shadow Walls that time. Interesting. Oh, we missed the sleep powder. There we go. Gengar is fast asleep and having a nightmare now. Good damage with that confusion. Gengar is down. Gyarados for this Scyther, or Haunter. Take a Night Chain, but then we'll take it out with a uh, Dragon Rage here. Easy peasy. Fourth gem achieved. Or we can Shadow Ball, but I don't think anybody can learn Shadow Ball. Nope.
The move pool on TMs for this team is not very high. It's going to be the same for our next team, too. But onwards we go. Oh, I should just use Return. I have Return now on Yama. I went and got Return for Yama. If, if you haven't caught that now. Because Return is just a really good move. There's no reason not to have it. Turn through these do duos. And the whooper. We're pretty much going to return through everything if we can. This course was just a pain. Probably should have dragon raged it. I mean, Surf does neutral damage. Welcome to the stream, uh, Valve. Just keep knocking through here. Knock down this poly whirl. Almost got it with a single return. Not quite. There we go. Let's swap up Butterfree. Yeah, the Raticate hurt itself in confusion, took itself out for us. Very nice. And then we're gonna confuse the Krabby. Alright, we talk at our rival. We're gonna sell this nugget. I have a bunch of berries, too. I have, like, two guys that could use berries. We'll shell sell Shadow Ball. We're gonna buy our... Super Repels. Swap them up. Goodness. Heal up. Get strength. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, who do we have up front? We have Yama up front. We don't need Yama up front. Let's swap uh, Scyther for this fight. Headbutt! Down goes Knocked Owl. And then we'll swap up Butterfree to take on this Poliwag Poliwhirl. My son's playroom is right above my office here. He's up there playing with my wife. She also works for the school, so they're just home. Alright, we got the sleep powder uh, nightmare going. Excellent. Swap up Scyther. Headbutt. 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 We're just gonna let Scyther headbutt through this whole team. And then we'll swap to Gyarados. Now, Scyther is holding that Everstone, right? Yeah, it is. So we don't have to worry about it trying to evolve a level 30 in the Scizor. Surf over some Growlithes. Swagger and the rare candy. Just Dragon Rage the Krabby. Eat some shellfish, Gyarados. So our target is level 40, no, 40, 30 for Chuck. It's our next leveling spot that we get to. And everybody's leveled up really well, so I don't think we'll have any issues with that. Hmm, sorry. We still have all the trainers around the Whirl Islands on the way there. Gyarados is our slow leveler, but the other three are all medium fast, being bug types. And out of the lighthouse we go. So we can sail across the bay and go get the potion. 
off of. Yanma. And here we go. Not quite strong enough with the uh, return to take out one of these tentacles. Might be a little bit of a range, it looks like. much to say y'all you, you all feel free to chat if you want to chat I don't I don't you know <laughs> when you've gone through this 58 times you don't have much to say that you haven't already said once we're gonna take out the shelters with special attacks because they have really low special defense shelter here. First one that got confused and took itself out, which is awesome. I think we can level up Yanma off this war turtle. Excellent. And we'll swap up Scyther here. Speed through the guy with the full team, because it's just a full team. Full team of low-level Pokemon. And then we'll swap back up Butterfree for the next fight, because it starts with a uh, Shelter. a little bit of an Aurora Beam, but not too bad. The Poison Sting has like a 30%, 20% chance, 30% chance to poison. It's like a really high. I had to look at it because I didn't realize it was such a high chance to poison. Good confusion. Nice. Get out of here. Butterfree's trying to learn Gust. We'll learn Gust in place of Tackle. Let's use the Super Potion here on Yanma so we can use Yanma in the next couple fights. One Goldeen down. Does this be the second one down? Nope, it stays on. Pecks us for a little bit of damage, but that's okay. And then the Seeking. Let's see if we can get a flinch on it, since we're not going to take it down with a single return. No flinch. We take another peck. Oh, let's just keep Yanma up. We're almost uh, leveled up again. Scyther headbutt this Goldeen down. Other poison Pokemon coming up so we can confuse through it. Jeez. Slamming stuff up there. 
All right, we gotta have our Gyarados take on the other Gyarados. Gyarados fight! Good flinch. Swap the Scyther. Power up our Fury Cutter on the Star U, and then we'll be ready to just take the Star Me out with a single hit. You can recover, but it ain't gonna help you, Star U. Critical hit, super effective. All right, let's put Gyarados up. Looks like we'll need about a level of uh, grass training, but that'll go pretty fast. We still have Oosing to take on as well. Seen fight. I don't really, I'm not really excited about fighting this electrode. We'll do it with Scyther because Scyther just deals a ton of damage. And we could get the flinch particularly, but we didn't. Nonetheless, we still took it out. All right, this will get everybody up to 29. Good critical hit, Butterfree. Now we're just gonna grass train a little bit. Cruels, it's where it's at. Alright, that'll finish out Butterfree, the level 30. Just headbutt through everything. Scyther's trying to learn a wing attack. That's pretty good. We'll learn that in place of focus energy for now. Gyarados. Gyarados is trying to learn Leer. We're going to pass on that.
There's the poison. I was kind of waiting for one. Aw, oh, two in a row on Yanma? Come on. Come on! There we go. Oi. We're gonna keep Yanma up front. Going into Chuck's gym. <laughs> Black Belt Yoshi sends out his Hitmon Lee, and it's gonna lose to our horrible Dragonfly Pokemon. This jump kick's gonna do like no damage. Well, I got a critical hit. It does a little damage. Remember, that doubled it. So, 23 damage. Now, Hitmonchan, on the other hand, might do a little bit. That was Fire Punch and Thunder Punch. Good flinch. That's what we were looking for. heal, just to be at full strength for the gem leader fight. Um, let's give this mint berry to Scyther in place of the Everstone for just this fight. We're gonna swap Yama up. Scyther here for this uh, Poly Wrath, and we're gonna wing attack. Uses Mind Reader, we don't care, we just wing attack again. And that was easy peasy. Storm badge, got. All right, let's give this Everstone back to Scyther. All right, who's got Paralysis Cure Berries?
Okay. Let's teach fly. None of our flying Pokemon can learn fly, but we're going to teach it. We got a rare candy. Do I get the... Yeah. We'll get the mystic water here. Alright, there's a rain dance. And there's our King's Rock. So remember, the King's Rock just gives a chance to flinch to whoever's holding it, to all their attacks. We really like another Paralysis Cure. That's a Poison Cure Berry. Uh, Paralysis Cure Berry is up here. Trying to prepare for this fight the best we can. I need to teach Rain Dance. Uh, we're gonna teach this in place of Bite. Free. So the Magnemites are what I'm really worried about, not the Steelix. We want to put this to sleep, which we did. We want it to stay asleep. Alright, now it's going to start taking nightmare damage, which is good. The confusion's not going to do a lot because it's not very effective. The nightmare is going to be what takes it down. The longer it stays asleep, the more damage it'll take. All right, one Magnemite down. Excellent. Excellent. I mean, this was our strategy. All right, two Magnemites down. Down to the Nightmares. Swap the Gyarados. We're just gonna drop a surf on the Steelix. Hopefully it's sunny days.
which it does. So she's going to heal, and we're going to drop a Rain Dance in response. And then we're going to Surf again. Excellent. Not even a problem. Always seems that we have issues with poison. And we're coming up to the Team Rocket fights, which is where all the poison attacks are. Supersonic? Mm, sure. It's not like we're using Detect anyways. Surf through this guy's team. All super low level. Swapping Yama up. We just don't like Yama. Let's just be honest. Yama's not good. Everybody knows it. Everybody's saying it. It's not even a secret fact. This Nitto King, and then this Slow Bro. And then we'll finish leveling up against this Fisherman's team because the Gyarados still give out really good experience, even though they're level 10 and level 15. We gotta let our Gyarados take on the Red Gyarados. The Clash of the Gyarados. Decent damage.
Alright, so we've healed. We're gonna swap up Scyther. Watch him destroy that guy with his Dragonite. And then start taking on Team Rocket, guys. out the uh, Magnemite, because it can do that with a single Surf now. So we're just going to speed through these three Magnemites. Hit that secret switch, and we'll swap Scyther back up. Let Scyther take out these three four Rattata. I guess we'll let him take out two, and then Gyarados will take out the other two. Bit more experience up towards uh, level 32. Just keep pushing. Get it, Butterfree. on the scientist with his coughing. Take out this girl trainer and get the password. Swap up here, goes. I, I did get that password from her, right? I'll go talk to her again, just make sure. I've forgotten it before. Wouldn't be surprised if I forgot it again. Gyarados is still up front, we're still good. Okay. 
So let's swap over to Yanma. So, well, our next trainer gem is the Ice Trainer, which we won't do this episode. We'll do next one, but... We'll use Gyarados to the Ice Gem. We don't really want to use Yanma in there. Yanma's just not... <laughs> We've discussed this. Yanma is not good. Yanma is gross. Bad Yanma. Alright, talk on our rival again. I didn't get the password from the guy, other guy. Take out Eradicate in a single hit. By the Arbok, take some residual damage, and then we take it out with another return. Uh, y'all yeah, must be able to get a Murkrow, you'd think. And then we'll let Butterfree take out the Gloom. Blah, 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 blah. You could just run from these fights. You don't have to fight them, but, like, what's the hurt? The worst they do is they self-destruct and maybe take out a Pokemon. Gotta teach Whirlpool. Let's heal up. We're gonna go get Sludge Bomb. Not that I think anybody can learn it. We'll check. But it gives us more money for Thunder, which is what we really want. So we're going to go to Goldenrod. We're going to come down here and get this Nugget. And this Rare Candy. Hop up in here and sell a bunch of stuff.
Thunder, which we're going to teach to Gyarados to go with Rain Dance. Teach this in place of Dragon Rage. So remember, with the Rain Dance Thunder combo, we can make it so Thunder ignores accuracy checks. That's the reason that the combo's good. Alright, but we are going to end this episode here for today. We do hope you all enjoyed the episode. We'll be back tomorrow with more Pokemon. Until then, we'll see you next time.